I had to go uh, powder my nose. <laughs> oh, man. I've never seen a guest do that before. I had to go. You ran away during the commercial break. I and ran then away. I freshened up. I powdered my freshened nose. Freshened up? And then I took a piss in the sink. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Why? Why do I ask? It's my fault. All right. Uh, hey, we got to our next guest. That was incredible. My next guest is one of the stars of that. I think we're short a cup. What? Well, we should have two cups. You know, we should have two cups. What is wrong tonight? This is the weirdest show. Oh, here's the cup. Wow, there we go. That's a crack team we got. Uh, we, can, gonna... we can edit. You got editing facilities here, right? We can't afford that crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> My next guest is one of the stars of that 70s show, which begins its sixth season tomorrow night at 8 on Fox. Please welcome Laura Prepon. Always look great. So do you. Well, thank My you. My fellow redhead. I know. Yeah. What's I should have hooked up? up in our day. <laughs> Congratulations you no. on your baby. I just want to tell you oh, that. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, well, that's awesome. Yeah, she's a Congratulations. sweetheart. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. But still, you and I should have hooked up. <laughs> um, <laughs> What have you been up to these days? I haven't seen you in a little while either. Um, yeah, you know, we're going into our sixth season on the show. Right, that's going and, great. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just wrapped a movie called Lightning Bug in Alabama. You were down in Alabama? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys have been in the South, but it's like, it's a different world down there. It's, it's a completely different world down there. It's like, have you been to the South? I rode the rails once through the South. <laughs> Ran into a guy named Hector Kitchener Leslie. <laughs> a tough man he was. But a man's still the same. I'm, now I'm thinking in Norm's cadence. Uh, no, I've, I've driven through the South. Uh, I, I love the South. I actually... Yeah, well, I, it was just crazy because I'd never been down there. And then I was, um, we were filming in this town called Coleman, Alabama. And it was, it's a dry county, so there's no alcohol. No booze. No booze whatsoever. And uh, the town is probably as big as the stage and it has uh, 300 churches. So it just, oh, just packed, but you leave yeah. one church and you walk right oh, into exactly, another church. Exactly, yeah. And it was just insane, and the people down there were just, like, shocked that we were down there. They probably never see celebrities, right? No, they were, it, it got a little creepy sometimes. Like, there was this place called Joe Muggs, because I'm obsessed with coffee, because I'm a huge coffee drinker. And I, I would go in every day to get my coffee, and there was this one day where, like, uh, more and more, like, day by day, a lot of people started coming to hang out because they knew we were there. So I was ordering my coffee, and I felt this weird like vibe behind me it was weird so i turned around and this guy was like reaching for me and i'm like Whoa, what do you mean I'm reaching like... for you like to touch you yes he was like reaching you guys it was really weird who stands behind someone and just know. goes like that someone from Coleman, alabama <laughs> i'm it was that's what it was it was freaky so i turn around and i'm like don't don't do that that's not that's not cool yeah thank you no, no, no. <laughs> that's not cool so, so well, this i grew is... up in alabama <laughs> 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 but no, it was freaking. So I turn, I'm like, don't do that. So I turn around and go to order my coffee again, and the same thing happens. And I turn around and I'm like, what are you doing? And in this slow, like creepy southern drawl, he was like, I just wanted to see what it would be like to touch somebody cool with like this creepy face. Right. And I was just like, that's not a, no, we don't do that. And it was, it, there were a couple things that happened like that. I was in the Holiday Inn, which is like the you know Ritz Carlton of. Coleman, Alabama. I actually loved it. It was really great. Right. So Holiday Inn's a great place. They run commercials on our show. No, <laughs> Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. <laughs> you get the free Cinnabons with the breakfast. You know what mm. I mean? They have that whole. Sure. Yeah. Although whatever. But um. So anyway, like probably 200 yards away, there was a building going up. They're doing construction on it, and we would work such late nights that I'd come home, and every time when I came home, it would be morning. So I put these garbage bags over the windows to black out my entire room. So, but I didn't know. Don't, couldn't but, you get some curtains? Why'd you, why <laughs> were you? It's the Holiday Inn in Alabama, I don't know. They blocked out like nothing. Like, right. It was retarded and I need like black in order to sleep, like really, really dark. Also, you have my coloring. <laughs> You're like vampires when it comes to the sunlight. I'm always, when the sun is starting to come up, I run and I always see Laura Prepon running too. Like, we must see. <laughs> like sleeping upside down but no this is it was crazy so i put garbage bags over the windows yeah they're cr they're crazy you're covering the windows with garbage bags <laughs> big star of a tv like show 16 hour days right so 200 yards away there was like a building going up and i didn't know this but when i left 
Someone told me that the entire side of the building was like that 70s, and they didn't even write show. I think uh, if they just put up that 70s, uh, people know it it's a show. Anything, yeah, I guess, maybe. Maybe the guy, it's just shorthand, you know? <laughs> he was just putting up, a, he didn't have time to do the whole thing. Yeah, he didn't have time, I guess, or maybe he ran out of spray paint or whatever he was using. Maybe it he was... saw that you were covering your windows with garbage bags <laughs> and would never see his well... hard labor, and so he figured, why should I be doing this, you know? How would he even know that I was on that side of the hotel? That's what creeps me out. They find out. Those like, desk people they... talk. They talk. I don't know how they find out, but it was it was crazy. It's a small town. I mean, where's Bree Pond? She's in that room. Well, it, was, it was very strange. And it was like these people, I don't know. I've just never been to the South, and it was very like enlightening seeing what it's like down there. I love the South. We have a lot of affiliates down there. Hey. The South. <laughs> You, what do you always say, Norm? Well, because I love the South, and I always say, if there was no South, there'd be no North. There you go. You know, this... Exactly. Somehow tonight, because of you, Norm, this talk show became a back porch, <laughs> and you became an old black man dispensing wisdom, <laughs> you know? I don't know how it happened. I feel like happened. I'm at a holiday party with, like, my drunk, you know, the what? guy who's always telling those stories where you just have to sit... I'm just, no, I mean, your stories are good, but you know what I mean? What the hell was that? <laughs> no, you know what I mean, where you sit there and you're like... Listen, I'm not going to kid you. I, I, enjoy the, I enjoy the occasional smidgen of whiskey. <laughs> I, I enjoy an occasional schooner of beer. <laughs> schooner of beer? I'm not it's a scooter of like beer. Schooner. I'm not going to say. What I... century are you from? <laughs> I like uh, a flag in every now of mead, if you will. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> fine, I'll be, a, I'll be a little more modern in words that you'll understand. I occasionally enjoy stuffing my mouth full of Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I'm ending this segment now. <laughs> Just not during a commercial break. Uh, mm. The season premiere of that 70s show airs tomorrow night at 8 on Fox. Yes. Thank you very much Thanks for being for here. Always me. nice to see you. Laura Prepon, everybody. We'll be right back. Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Again, you just made it back in time. I've never seen, in t over 10 years, never seen a guest do that. I think I may have some prostate problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. Uh, well, guess what? Coming up tomorrow night on the show, if you like tonight's show, you're going to like tomorrow night's show. Political commentator and author Al Franken is going to be joining us. That's right. From according to Jim, Courtney Thorne Smith. Remember Courtney Thorne Smith? You guys used to spar on the show back in the day. And musical guest, The Thrills. So watch that shizzo. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog will be here.